Georgia livestock producers are gearing up for the winter months by planting forage crops for their cattle to graze on. Yeah, the Monitor's Mark Wildman recently caught up with UGA Extension's forage specialist to find out what producers should be doing so their cattle will thrive this winter. On a clear fall day in Watkinsville, Georgia, UGA Extension forage specialist Dennis Hancock, along with research tech J.D. Hale, are doing what cattle farmers all over Georgia are doing and that is loading up the drill press and planting winter grazing. I think one of the big things would be to emphasize uh, ryegrass. Ryegrass is our, our best winter annual grass, uh, high yields and high quality. Uh, the biggest challenge with that oftentimes is it's not giving us as much early season grazing, and so sometimes we need uh, to add a little small grain with it to, uh, to get some earlier possible grazing. Even though this farm is planting one specific type of forage, Farmers have some options to make sure their cattle get the nutrients they need. I always am an advocate of trying to mix in some winter annual legumes. Uh, both crimson and arrowleaf clover really work well in our winter grazing uh, platforms. And one of the real um, uh, advantages to growing clover is, is the nitrogen benefit, but there's also a substantial quality benefit as well. As this field gets planted, Dennis, along with Ph.D. student Deidre Harmon, check soil conditions to make sure the crop gets established correctly. Looking at seeding depth and make sure that we're actually where we need to be with regard to seed placement. And in the case of small grains, it needs to be about three quarters an inch to an inch. In the case of ryegrass, it needs to be about uh, just about a quarter inch to a half an inch, depending on the soil texture. Raising cattle is a numbers game. And when your cattle can graze, that saves farmers money. And with good cattle prices, farmers are hoping for a good winter. It's always cheaper for the animal to graze it themselves rather than us hauling it to them. And plus the convenience factor of having those animals go out and, and harvest that uh, material themselves. Farmers stock up on hay as well. Even though this is a more expensive option, it may be necessary because you never know what conditions you might face. Uh, last year we fed a tremendous amount of hay because of how uh, difficult the winter really was. And they are projecting a little bit uh, colder winter than normal for us again. Hopefully it won't be nearly as bad as it was last year. Georgia farmers produce top quality hay and it is very important to pack as much nutrients as you can in each hay bale. That message is really getting out there. Georgia Farm Bureau does a great job with their hay contest and uh, with our Southeast Hay Contest as well. We've really, stri uh, really uh, strive to get that message out there. It's an important message to, uh, to our producers to keep their costs low and also to make sure their animals are well taken care of going through the winter. So as the weather gets colder, this field will get greener and the cows will have plenty to eat when winter arrives in Watkinsville, Georgia. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.